Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This isn't me as usual. I have a special announcement. The majority of the Pomni fans who, well, some of the new fans of me may have saw this video and came on it because it's the amazing digital circus. Now, this new show has sparked ignited my imagination and um, I actually feel inspired for once since Kingdom Hearts and Little Big Planet were seen within my eyes so I decided to have a glance at the pilot I watched it and um, I'm gonna be honest it's a star 5 out of 5 it's a phenomenon because of the, um, the immense creativity and abstraction and the, the venture and the vital effort that these series animators deserve credibility more than those who go on TikTok and get like 200k views by sitting there and showing whatever but the point is people who do nothing sadly get a lot of views after social media. I don't use TikTok personally. Now this creator of the show has been astounding with the skills and uh, let's get on with it and I'm, I'm gonna try not to say bloated words. The show The Amazing Digital, Dig <laughs> the Amazing Digital Circus, the recent show, the you know the new kid of the block of independent animations becoming the star of all. The person who had made this is good is Gooseworks. Please, please subscribe to this person. I highly recommend you watch the content of this person. It's amazing. I've seen Runmo. I think that's pretty interesting in terms of the contextualization upon the mysteries that go into this. Like the game show, for example, um watch it, it's amazing. But I will put the link of the Digital Circus pilot down in the description. I'll also put the person's channel. So pl please subscribe to this person's channel because, yes, crystal clear. Love it. Now that is out the way, we can talk about the characters. Take a pause. Now, now we get to the main part, the juicy part, the new, two new characters, they are just purely, they are just prototype concepts, they are prototypes, doesn't mean they're going to be in the show, in fact it's rare, probably rare to nil that they'll ever appear on the show, but do you know what? I mean, the hype's been going on, so we may as well introduce some new concepts that Gooseworks could take into the show for maybe season two, season three, season four, if they have the funding to do that, of course. I'm going to introduce you to Sir Butler Waff Dodger and Braun Sticks. Now, these two are a duel without a doubt. They will stick together in this majority of the show. However, they do have an adversity. Advers they, they do have a adversary, however, they do oppose each other. Their ideas or thinking can afflict pain on each other. That's tough love. So we just need to see for the two of them as the pals of the unexpected. The friends that aren't expected to be together, and yet here they are. I'm not going to get into much. I'm going to explain each of the. I'm going to explain both of these characters and what they do, what they like, and how they get around it. So the traits of Bron. On your left is the the bulk waffle character. He is classed as stubborn because whenever 
any argument challenges his mindset, it can drive him to the brisks of craziness. He also gets angry at Butler every time he gets crashed into him. What I mean by that, and just to mention, Butler has slippery butter shoes. So, meaning he can only slide across the floor. He can't walk at all, believe it or not. Which is why he has long arms. He can use his long arms to stretch down onto the floor um, like ice skaters. And he can just, you know, slide across the everywhere on the digital circus grounds. So, back to Braun, because I was going off tangent, sorry. I was going off the butler. So, he finds it difficult to run, but he can jog at a good speed because he, over time, when he's at, he was at the digital circus, he does learn to adapt with his um, solid <sighs> shoes that they're thick, they're wacky. Um, he does get irritated and annoyed, and annoyed every time he walks, but um, it does get used to it. And he can also stick to walls. Now that's my favourite part about Braun. He can stick to walls, ceilings, and even use his jam on his head to fix things like doors, tools, and many other objects that come comes in his way. He can build things and he loves building. He does engineering, woodwork and construction. That's his preferable hobby. And over time when he, he was at the Digital Circus he just lived with it. Because he couldn't remember his name so he called himself Braun. Because he's simplistic. Unlike Butler. <laughs> but I'll get to him in a minute. Um, the amazing thing he does if he can fight against big characters with his huckling strength, he is brave in his own aura with a stoic mindset or a stoic mindset. Um, and overall, Braun has the physical capabilities that exceed Butler's capabilities. Now moving on to Butler. Apart from his smooth sliding across the floor, because <laughs> he can't walk, he, he can only slide, but he's fast. He can dash across. He's fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, he tries to fit in with the boys, but he's seen as weak because he's small and skinny. He's light. Probably the lightest, if he gets included in the show. Um, he's... The only one, one of the one characters that are more likely to cause accidents because he slides. So sometimes he can't sort his own buttery sliding shoes. Especially when it comes to silent situations, the impact of these accidents can cause a lot of noise, which therefore he can become a problem. Now, so can Braun, for one reason, and that's because he has a stubborn mindset. He's not, he's not that sophisticated in intelligence. Now, Butler, whenever he sees something and, or hears something that annoys him, yeah, he has sensitive emotions and that drives him into stress and, yeah, that leads him to crying and complaining frequently on things that annoy him. Uh, uh, one other funny thing is also he plays games with the girls but gets rejected by them every single time. He's strategic, he uses big fancy words on top of that, try to jester max somehow, but he fails because he's nothing but uh well he's he's grand. He, he just he beats around the bush. Now coming to these two like just look at them. The way they look I wish or oh, do you know it would be good to have a mustache on them actually. Because there's no characters with moustaches by far. I think it would be good for butlers. Uh, because butlers are typically seen with moustaches. I think that would be good for butler. Just have a yellow stringy moustache thing. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much. He is open-minded. He is an intelligent fellow who can... Um, theorise a lot of things, but that can drive him in, drive him in, drive, that can drive him insane as well. So like, Braun's intelligence capabilities, when they're exceeded, that can overload him. That can overwhelm him as well. 
so the two of them are overall a strange duel. But they work together. And I'm going to tell you the common traits. Moving on to that now. Now they have the value of working together. That's the one value they have in common. Whenever they're in a bad situation, they work together to solve problems. Because they have they have opposite skills and they have to come together because without the other, they're doomed to either go insane or something else happens to them. So they humble themselves as a duel. Whenever bad things happen, they help each other out and others out, of course, with the dual power that they have. They have the intelligence and defending capabilities in doing so. For example, they can temporarily distract, delay, abstract in monsters with butter and sticky jam to slow it down or trap it. Until Cain deals with the problem. <laughs> and in terms of mysteries, they can solve mysteries or solve parts of a mystery with bronze skills and butler's theoretical knowledge on areas such as the most important thing that Braun and Butler bring into the table is the law of their thinking. The thought of Braun's observation will confirm to him that he must take that as fact. But Braun has a law of logic which has him thinking among the box. And that can be a problem to Braun as Braun's simplistic vision can be an issue to Butler's logic because then that afflicts arguments. But it's good to always have that question. It's, it's great. So, um, overall, I think these two would be great on a show, from my opinion. But, again, it's up to the creator and what this person wants to do. So yeah, it's been great seeing you too. See you later, maybe. Yellow cane. Time to go on an adventure. <laughs>